40 foot chicken. B -b -b the penguins must leap into action quickly, lest they suffer the pecking. B -b -b Come on, guys, help me out. There's got to be a planet in trouble somewhere. Just get me out of here. <laughs> Base camp. Blast off to an exciting summer. Great. Seeds. Did somebody say seeds? Now you've got the idea. Why don't you join Michelle and me out in the garden, Jason? It's a perfect day to plant pumpkin seeds. Granum says if we plant them now, we'll have great big pumpkins at the end of the summer. Your sister's right. And we'll have plenty of pumpkins for all kinds of treats. Pumpkin kraut, pumpkin slaw, pumpkin pudding, pickled pumpkin poppers. And we'll pop the pumpkins later, right, Grandmom? That's right, Michelle. What's the matter, Jason? Are you bored? <sighs> Too bad the video game's busted, huh? As a matter of fact, it is too bad, because I'm bored out of my brain. There's absolutely nothing to do up here. Why can't I be having fun at space camp like Trevor instead of eating weird grapes and thumb wrestling myself because the only other possible thing to do is plant pumpkins or stare at the wall? Oh, that gives me an idea. I think I'll stare at the wall. Touchy. Heaven's above. That's no way to look at things, is it? You know, Jason, if you can't control your complaining, it'll spread to everyone around you, and you'll be a seed of discontent. So which will it be? A grumpy seed or a shining star? We'll be outside if you change your mind. Come along, Michelle. Why would anyone want grapes with seeds? Jason T. Conrad, we need your help. Yes! Oh, wait. No, we don't. It appears they simply have the batteries in backwards. They're able to shave again. Mission cancelled. Imagine that. An alien race so fuzzy, if they don't shave the noses once a day, they risk suffocation. Yep. Here today. Gone tomorrow. Ha! Ha ha! Figures. Jason, what's wrong? I was hoping to get out of here. That's a very good idea. Turn the page, partner. Yeehaw! It is? Splendid. It does seem we have the day off. Hey, hey, you know it's uh, carnival season. <gasps> yes! How about the stockpod races? Oh, why don't we all go to the zoo? We should visit the botanical gardens. Gardens, great! Boy, I sure love carnivals. Well, there's the derby. Monster trucks, yeah. Thunderfoot, Arr. What's a derby? They've got that ride that goes, woo-hoo! And look, 
everybody, no hands! The symphony! Comic Con! Medicine Square Garden! Whoa, 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 whoa. <gasps> the magic shop! The hardware store! Yeah! Mm. The, the, the carnival. carnival! Do I get a balloon then? Vigil, get Jason in here. Mitchell, get us out of here. Kevin! Turn the page. Amazing carnival, what do you see now? If you'd like to play at the carnival, I will show you how. Uncle Bob's amazing carnival, we want to have fun. But our time to play at the carnival hasn't yet begun. <gasps> oh. Oh, over here, greetings. Greetings, space travelers. To what do I owe this most pleasant surprise? Greetings, my good, uh, uh, sir. We've come for a day at the carnival. We've got a day off. Sensors indicate fun. Sensors indicate... <laughs> well, please be sure it would be my utmost pleasure, and I would receive with the highest degree of adulation the accompaniment of your fine bevy. So, you, uh, <clears throat> mind if we join you? Not at all. Not at all. Right this way. Right. Yeah, where are those things? Which I keep my note. One of them. One of those things. Confound it. Only two. My good penguins, you're most welcome at my traveling carnival, revelrous exposition that it is. Though the amusements in store for you today will certainly entertain even the most dispassionate among you, it is with great regret that I have but a duo of blob toppers currently at hand. I'm afraid that the majority of the, uh, collect du joie currently adorn the heads of the children already present. Hiya, fellas! Please accept my apologies, but as you see, I am left with but a brace. Great, great. So, you got some for everybody? There's only two. I believe that is what he just said. Hey, that's pretty sharp, Mitchell. Beg pardon? That's a great souvenir. Uh, about a quarter after. Uncle Blob's amazing carnival, what do you see now? If you'd like to play at the carnival, I will show you how. Uncle Blob's amazing carnival, look, the Whirlatron! The first fun ride we'll take at the carnival, let's all go get on. Oh, by the way, I have to say, there's something you should know. It's old and cheap, it'll put you to sleep, so you might as well not go. Oh, rats. Ah, oh, gee. That's disappointing. Did you say something? Hey, guys, didn't you hear? It's a lousy ride. Uh, Yee-haw! <laughs> <laughs> Well, they're certainly not going to have any fun on a ride like that. Woo! I've seen a one-legged Zincadian turtle crawling through a puddle of giant whistlebee honey move faster than that. You got that right, you little whiner. There's a better one near Ursa Minor. Woo! You call that a fun ride? If I want to get dizzy, all I have to do is a little long division while Mitchell is driving. Ooh, that last remark was most unkind, but just feel free to speak your mind. Woohoo! Whee! <sighs> Though all the 
these rides are fun. You haven't ridden one. You'll find it's hard to have much fun here once complaining has begun. Boy, oh boy. I can't believe we came here. This place is full of hooey. And how. Let's go to the carnival, he says. That's about the worst idea you've had since landing here. I wonder what's going on. They're certainly not very happy. Most curious. How on earth could they not be having fun? Yeah, this place is great. This place stinks. I can't believe you dragged us to this boring carnival. Huh? What? You talking to me? Uncle Blob's complaining carnival. What do you see now? It's easy to complain at the carnival. I just showed you how. What's the deal, Uncle Blob? You said this was What's gonna the be deal, fun. What's the deal, Uncle Blob? When's the you fun said this was start? going to be fun. When's the fun gonna start? Now, do my ears deceive me, or do I have some dissatisfied customers on my hands? Not to worry, not to worry. I've saved the best for last. I'm sure you'll all find this final attraction quite amusing. Space is tight, so I'm afraid you'll have to go in one at a time. Who'll be first? This is weird. We should find out what's going on. Quite. That's it. Step right up. Right this way. No way! Next. Very good, very good. Right this way. Watch your step. Juggler? Jason, what's happening? I'm not sure, Fidgel. Hold on. Hiya, kid. Did you have fun at the carnival today? No! Applesauce! here. Might you be looking for your associates? Midgel, Zigil, stop complaining. You're in danger. Say nothing! Ha <laughs> ha! Yell all you want, fellas. Your meager attempts at rescue are futile. They can't hear you. But on the plus side, you're just in time for the big finale. Allow me to show you to your seats. <laughs> Not now, Kevin. We're in peril. Don't be timid, gentlemen. You get the best seats in the house. Huh? Where did the boy go? Pity, he'll miss the show. I say, Uncle Blob, what is the meaning of this? What have you done with our friends? And the kids! I am a businessman. But you see, this carnival is only a small part of my enterprise. I make my fortune by depopulating planets. 
I get everyone to leave. In a short time, this planet, planet R&R, &R, will undergo a mass exodus. Why? I'm glad you asked. I turn carnival goers into seeds of discontent. All I need is a steady supply of willing participants. Hey, I'm going too fast. I can't see. I plant my little complaining seeds on a planet, and that discontent grows and spreads, and soon the native population is so miserably grapey that the planet becomes uninhabitable and must be evacuated. Oh dear. Only, of course, at the request of my clients, who pay me quite handsomely. It's the perfect scheme. Nobody wants to be around a complainer. After the planet is vacant, the seeds are simply disposed of, and a whole new world is available for redevelopment. Did you say disposed of? That's what I said. Oh. Oh! Observe, it's happening already. That's it. Keep griping, keep griping. Isn't it all just rotteny? Let's see, who's next? Hiya, kid. Did you have fun at the carnival today? No, sir, I can't say that I have. In fact, I would have to say that my time here was fun fun. I came here to have fun, and I don't recall a fun feeling anywhere and anyway all day. And frankly, I don't care who I may have been with my opinions at this point. Oh, there you are. I knew you wouldn't want to miss the fun. Whoa. This place is the... Youch! Got it! Fire! Oh dear! It's nearly overcome by the seeds of discontent. Sancho, Mancho, Pumpkinhead and kids. This is Jason. Listen, you have to stop complaining. You've turned into seeds of discontent, and it's spreading to everyone around you. Start thinking about all the things you have to be thankful for. Then do everything without complaining or arguing, and in this crooked world, you'll shine like stars in the universe. Jason, it's working. That's it, guys. Be thankful. Be thankful for everything. I do like the aroma of electrified helium neon gas. Well, I guess being a seed encased in a canister and suspended in space by laser beams isn't so bad. By golly, we had ourselves a fine day. Mm-mm. Not so fast, Uncle Blob. Mitchell, grab him. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'll come along peacefully. But first, if you would be so kind, might you allow me to avail myself of the ahem, facilities? Oh, all right. But make it snappy. Gentlemen, it has been a distinct pleasure, but I gotta go. <laughs> Thank you.
Well, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Captain's log, start eight. Uh, Kevin? Tea time. Start eight, tea time. Thank you, Kevin. The seedified pumpkin headed children were soon returned to their original condition a little wiser and a lot shinier. And after waiting several hours, I finally determined Uncle Blob was not coming back from his potty break. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs>